That's the best gift you could give them. E-103 Delta, E-104 Epsilon, rescue mission accomplished. Remaining units, E-105 Zeta, E-101 Beta, location unknown. Perhaps the 8 carrier. Yes, you're right, Yama. Yeah. But wait, it, Zeta's E-105, not E-10. Yeah, he's E-105. Hmm. He just said him in a weird order for some reason. Stop flying, you're actually delaying yourself. Mode change. Seriously? You can't run on the walls, you're not knuckles. Doing it! Doing it! You're not, you're not knuckles, nope. I was doing it. I no, did it. No, no. Hey, I see equivalent Nathan of running toward a wall, kicking off it, said I ran on the wall. Wow. I ran on the little bit of it. I mean, I'll take the raft now. Do I? The raft. One I took when I was Amy. Oh. That's how you gotta get back to the A carrier. Drowns. Clop, 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 clop. E series data. Beginning search. Hot shelter. This is a sport of warning. You're going to the hot shelter. Delta. E series location confirmed. Unlocking hot shelter sector now. Yeah, because Eggman never actually knew that Gamma betrayed him. That's the hilarious part. He deleted him and made him an enemy, but he never knew Gamma betrayed him because, for all you know, Gamma was just destroyed in the battle with Sonic. He never saw the outcome of that fight. And, by that, and after this, he was just too busy with Sonic to really be bothered. Where I do. You gotta go to that elevator. What elevator? It's the right, Nathan. The one you took up here as Sonic, or as Tails. Or not the right. Over there. The spinny one. It's over there. Over where? Straight ahead of you. Up Which there. Way? Yeah. That elevator. The one you took as. Actually, no. I think it's Tails. The one you took as Gamma earlier. <laughs> Hey, it wasn't spinning this time. It wasn't being regular. all crazy doing... It was a regular elevator this time. That's all it should always be. Now the middle door. Now you can go in the middle door, Nathan. Change mode. No. Time for Gamma's last action stage. The hot shelter. Because that took a whole lot of time. Just we're only like 40 minutes into recording this. Destroy E-105. What the fuck happened to Zeta? He put some pounds on. Zeta, no. I told you the chili dogs were bad for your health. Your robotic health. No. Your robotic health. No. I obtained a life. And I also obtained an electric shield. Fucking make it fast, thank you. Fly forward. What? You what? didn't hit the wall. You didn't actually hit the ladder. You hit the side of the ladder. Therefore, you die. <laughs> I must go now. <laughs> My planet needs me. Yeah, you have to actually hit the ladder, not the bar. And then jump off it. Oh, you didn't fly. You could have flew right over those. Get out of here, penguin. What I do? Okay. <laughs> you didn't pay attention at all when I was doing the city thing, did you? I think I was in now. No defense. What? I was saying, you weren't paying attention at all when I was doing the stages, Amy, were you? Not even the slightest. Jeez. Fuck yeah. Fuck your explosions. <sighs> Robots. Fuck them. You should probably be getting as much time bonuses as you can, actually. 
Why? Because you need all the time you can get in this level. In this one? Why? Because of the high speed cargo section. That section takes a decent amount of time no matter how fast you're going. But it's called the high speed section. Why would it not? Damn. Look. <laughs> Alright, now stand on that green square. What? What green square? The green square that the guy was destroying you on. No, don't click the button. Stand on that green square. <sighs> shit. Oh. You shoot the button from here. What button? That button over there that you just showed. You already got, you shot it. Well, that's it. Yeah, see, because notice how you're cutting the time close. You got a minute. I don't know what's close or not. Not changing buttons. Why I no do? Now. Those are enemies. Are you seriously just ignoring the enemies now? What? You're ignoring the enemies. How do I get through this? Oh, it's fucking over here. I think, maybe, yes. Okay, whatever. What? Just trying to get too fast. If you shot the enemies, you wouldn't have to worry about being that fast. I don't have to worry about being this fast. I just want to do it this fast. You're not going to win this day. You're going to die then. Jesus fucking hell. You died right out of time. You're literally cutting it to like the fucking wire. Button. Right down there. Button. No, back there is a fucking button. I know, I, pre I thought I pressed the fucking button. No, you didn't. Otherwise, the train would be stopping. Oh, okay. Now you have 20 seconds. Yeah, I thought I fucking shot you. You might want to hit some of the, the guys coming down this way. Pew 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 pew. Then you can get enough seconds to not die. <laughs> there, that's enough to do off beta. Or bring them to Oh no, if you hit these guys, you also have enough time. You have definitely enough time. But fucking aim at them, you goddamn bastard. You have to shoot, you have to pull out the boxes, so you can go up to zippy zip. Not those boxes. Those boxes. I was trying to hit all of them, and it kept aiming in random directions. And now mash the shoot button. You have 30, less than 30 seconds to beat Zeta. Mash the shoot button. Don't do anything. I was fucking doing it. I was fucking doing it. There's a lot more trouble with us than I do. And he's dead. Well, no, it was fucking. You said just mash the shoot button, so I didn't touch anything else. It was mash shoot button, and my character glided toward the, the rim, so I got stuck facing the wall. And I just hit it. I wasn't able to do anything. Theta. Complete. 15 seconds. Yeah. I won. I won the end. Zeta dead. His fucking head popped off, by the way. Yep. <laughs> and we're still calling this saving. Huh. Time to go back to the deck. And now it's time for boss fights that you can't just smash the shoot button on. And yes, one of my favorite boss and, and one of my favorite boss fights in all of Sonic game in Sonic's history. Data rescue complete. Units remaining. E one oh one beta. E one oh two gamma. What? Gamma. Gamma. Beta. What's so, I think, so great about this scene is it actually has an emotional play factor played into it. 
By this point, you've wiped out every other E series. I'm not counting Zero because he's stupid. But you've wiped out every other E series unit, and it's just you and Beta, brother versus brother, and that motherfucker is driven mad by the desire for his revenge on you. He's angry that you managed to defeat him and replace him as Eggman's elite robot. And now he wants revenge, and he plans to use his badass upgrades he got to do it. And it plays one of the most kick-ass themes ever. Also, Beta you can't get away with mashing the shoot button because he teleports and he backhands your bullets away. What did I just do? You shot him. Nice. I, I actually think you hit him. He'll backhand any shots you shoot at him until he uses his rainbow charge, in which case he'll be open after that. No, I mean, you need to wait after the rainbow charge. If you try to attack him during the rainbow charge, nothing happens. That's why I'm wondering how you hit him. Well, I'm do it again. Makes no sense. You're also getting hit by it, though. Okay. What? What? He vanished. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now he's gonna shoot Kamehameha Blast at you. One of them, anyhow. It just... You keep getting hit by <laughs> I don't care. It works. But yeah, so it's just like you're it's the brother versus brother combat. And it's I think this fun fight's really fun. It actually gives Gamma some a decent challenge rather than just click shoot button to win sort of thing. And he's one of the more challenging bosses of the game, honestly. Dodon Ray! Dodon Ray, Al. You just run in circles, Nathan. That's all you gotta do. He fucking missed the ship. I can't really blab about my ship now, but it's just one of my favorite boss fights in this game because it's actually a challenge. And oh, you killed him. You did that three times! Yeah. And so, Gamma once again proves that he is the superior brother. I wonder when he Vader. fixed that panel. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that panel was broken and that was box <laughs> fight. That was before this. I don't know. I guess the 8 carrier just has auto repair systems and that's how it's still functioning. Which makes me wonder why he just doesn't go to the ocean and pick it up. Because fuck you. Because fuck you, that's why. Because fuck you. I leave robots. You <laughs> even... Boom. And we win. Ha ha. That was it? Just fucking... Yeah, he's done. <laughs> That's all he did. Was he just freaked out foot though. Boom! Suicide. The oh. fucker... Jada was driven so crazy by his desire for revenge against Gamma that he stooped so low as to use a sneak attack. Fucking bird. The bird. The bird just got blown up. Now the bird's fine. Nice. Beta was the green bird. So can you guess who the pink bird is? The spirit of Amy? No. The spirit of Rouge. And this part's really sad, honestly, because I like Game as a character, but we all like, this this was just it was gonna happen. Let's check this out. Hey wait, didn't And this, this honestly is, it's a robot being destroyed, but it's one of the more emotional scenes, in my opinion, of the Sonic franchise. That sounds dumb, but I really did like Gamma. He was a great, even though he only had a short amount of time to really display who he was, he had great potential. Only to die because his brother decided to cheap shot him, who also happened to be the first. So you almost wonder if maybe what it was was not a crazy battle to death, but rather the bird was just... Trying to save him too? Yeah. Jesus, look at the boom! It was Gamma. He deserved an epic explosion. Here comes the boom, ready or not. And, as you see at the very end, here comes the pink bird. Gamma and Beta were the bird's parents. Which is why, explains why Gamma malfunctioned and turned good after the bird flew in front of it. Back this is your brother. No, no it's not. It's my husband. Shut up. 
I mean, for ro robotic wise, those two were brothers. But in the animal forms, they were a couple. But I just, I like Gamma's story. I don't care what anybody says. I really do like Gamma's story. It doesn't have a whole lot to do with the main plot, especially with Chaos. In fact, Amy, Big, and Gamma stories have almost nothing to do with Chaos. At least Big meets Chaos, but you know, whatever. But I really do like Gamma's story. It's really... It, again, it still seems stupid to categorize Gamma's story, of all things, as emotional, but it is. He spends the time tracking down to save his friends, and it has a t death battle showdown with his brother, ending with both of their demises. Ending in the realization that their husband won. The realization that they're the bird's parents at that The awkward point. moment when your brother is your husband. Oh my. And the awkward moment actually when you realize that game was a girl. Expletive deleted. But, phew, evidence deleted. 